do when you see a vulture? You think mm -hmm. that's a gross creature, but actually they do a lot of good for the planet. And researchers are worried about the decline in their population. Something else to be concerned about. Here's Dave the Science Pro to explain. Hi. You know, we've talked about bees, yeah. right, and the honeybees and how they're so, you know, pivotal to creating these crops and pollinating crops, which then we eat and the animals eat and then, the, you know, so on and so on. Think of the vultures as the very end of the process. Okay, and I know that we see them all the time and we're kind of like, we like, we know what they're circling around, we know what's going on, but this massive decline in Africa and Asia in these vultures is huge because researchers are fearing that this could lead to the spread of very deadly diseases like the plague, anthrax, rabies, just to name a few. The vulture's job in the ecosystem is to keep the pathogens in check. So an animal dies, okay? Mm -hmm. It happens every single day in nature. The vultures can literally wipe clean an animal in 20 minutes, stopping it from leaching dangerous and deadly bacteria and disease into water sources, which eventually could end up in humans. Here's the problem. Seven out of 11 of the vulture species in Africa are on the verge of extinction. They're not even threatened. They're ex almost going extinct. Some 80 to 90% of these birds are gone. So if you get rid of an important part of an ecosystem like a vulture, what's to stop these diseases from proliferating in the ecosystem? Yes, go ahead. What's killing them? There we go. That was next. Look at this next on my list. Causes. I got five causes for this happening. You're jumping ahead of the lesson. Sorry. But no, but if you think about it, it completely makes sense because they are immune to these diseases in their stomachs and everything, and they're able to kind of bypassing, and they're not typically around humans. Okay, here are the problems. Number one, indirect poisoning by villagers. In Africa, they tend to want to keep the lions away from the villages, so they will poison all of some of these dead animals just to keep the lions away, but then the vultures eat them, and the vultures mm. die. They're killed for religious regions. I, I, I didn't get too much into that. They're targeted by poachers, as many animals are. Here's one, though, that is really beginning to hurt the vulture population, and that is, Russell, electrocution. Kenya, for instance, rapidly upgrading its electricity, but they're using what they call shoddy construction. So what's happening is, is these birds are landing on these poles and these lines, and they're being electrocuted by the thousands every single year. And the other last very important thing that is killing these vultures is diclofenac. What'd you say again? Diclofenac. Ask me what that is. What is that? Okay, so that is something that treats pain and inflammation in cattle. Okay, so the cattle dies and they've got all of this chemical in them that has helped to treat their inflammation. The vultures' kidneys can't withstand all of that drug or that chemical and inevitably they end up dying. So if they die, if they all were gone tomorrow, we've got feral dogs and hyenas to pick up all the mess, which puts them closer in contact with us and human beings. And that's how they fear without vultures, these horrible diseases, which some of these dead animals can have, would carry over to humans. We've got to protect these vultures some way, somehow. Because well, so pretty much we're killing them. What's that? Pretty much we're killing them. We are killing them, 40 million to 19,000. They went from 40 million vultures to 19,000 in the course of about two decades. And they're only going down from there. And we look at them as like these nasty animals we have to get rid of, but no, mm. we need them or other things could spiral down this lovely food chain of ours. Just okay. a thought, I mean, it's- no, it's something to think about. It really is something to think about. All okay. right. There you go. Thank you. Yep.